Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode where we will be servicing this 2015 Honda Gram. Yeah, it's pretty simple to do, minimal tools needed. I'll show you all of them as we go along. So let's get started. Now after the bike warmed up, we'll remove the sump plug which is a 17mm socket and drain the oil. Be careful of the hot exhaust. Now after that's done, we're going to have to remove the side casing to get access to the little gauze and the spinner filter. To do that, we must remove this rear set and get it out of the way. For this, we used a 19mm socket and a 12mm socket. You may need to hold the bolt on the other side as this is the main swing arm bolt. Won't be removed completely, just enough to give us access to the bolts. Next we'll remove the clutch cable. Just remove this little nut first to make it easier. These are 8mm bolts. Just set them in the order somewhere safe so you know which way they come off. Right, now the clutch cable is off, it's time to remove the rest of the casing. There is already the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten all together. You'll need to stand the bike up straight to get all the last of the oil out. Now once you've removed all of these bolts, you may need to give the casing a little tap with the rubber mallet to get it loose. Now after much persuasion and gentle tapping, we finally got it loose. Careful the gasket, this one has broken anyway. So we're going to have to get a new gasket for that. Now this is little gauze we're talking about, right in here. Just note which way it comes out, there is actually a difference. You see here it's slightly tapered in this way, which it goes in, the thinner taper goes in the way. Yeah, so now I'm going to get this little gauze cleaned up, get a new gasket ordered, and get this pop back on. Now while we're waiting on the new gasket to arrive, we're going to change the spark plug. Just pop off the lead. This one is removed by using a 16mm plug socket. The spark plug number in this particular bike is an NGK. Let's see if we get it in focus. The number in this particular spark plug is an NGK CPR 6EA9. So let's get that put in.
Don't over -tight it, tighten it as you'll damage the threads in the cylinder head. Pop the cap back on. It's another job done. Okay guys, so the new gasket has landed. Got this from Wii Moto. Genuine Honda part, wasn't that expensive. Delivery is great. Put a link to, the, to it in the description below. Uh, got the rider casing all cleaned up around the gasket surfaces on here and on the engine cleaned up. So that's looking real good. Uh, just a little note, if you ever wondered where your air filter was in your gram, it's in behind this cover. It is right up in here, behind the bars. To get at the screws, you just turn the bars full cut left to right. And there's one, two, three, four screws across the top. Uh, one on each side and then two at the bottom. Pretty easy to do. And then once you've that off, that's what you see. There's another little star head screw right there holding the air filter on, just simply pops out. So that's that. So I'm gonna get this screwed on in a moment, but I'll first get this gasket on and get the casing back on the side of the engine. Okay, so first I'm going to put a little smear of grease the whole way around this surface. Just helps to hold the gasket in place and makes it easier to remove the next time. It won't be stuck together and rip it in pieces. Okay, so now that that's done, wiped off any excess grease, I'm going to pop on this gasket. There's one little locating dial here you can use to locate the gasket. Just give it a little dab down. And put another smear of grease on this side. Okay, so now that's all nicely greased up and all these surfaces are completely clean. Just remember to make sure you still have lo locating dials. There's one here and there's one just down here in the bottom. The casing will also locate onto this shaft and onto the spinner shaft here too. Give a little wiggle, and that's that. Next, we're gonna take our 10 bolts and pop them back in. In this particular bike, they're all the same size, so it doesn't matter where they go. Just remember to locate. We put this one on last, because we're gonna be pulling on the clutch lever to make it easier to put this on, and then we'll locate the bracket on the casing. Now that they're all in hand tight, I'm going to tighten them all up just with the quarter inch ratchet. doesn't have to be too tight, too tight, and you will risk uh, pressing too hard and busting the gasket. Just tighten them in sort of crisscross pattern, and we're going to finish up with this one. I'm just going to tighten them first so that it doesn't let the cover pull out at all whenever we're pulling back the clutch lever. Right, now that that's done, I'm going to pop the cable into the clutch lever. There we go. Line up the little dial on here. And put in the last bolt and snug it up. Right, next we're going to replace the rear set.
Just a matter of sliding it over the main axle bolt. Lining it up with a little sport here. I had to disconnect just to give me enough length to pull it back. Just check your owner's manual for the torque of this axle, not especially because it's a very important one. Next, I'm going to replace this little cover. It was only removed to stop it getting scratched when I was cleaning the gasket off. This particular gram takes 900 milliliters of oil for a service fill or 1.1 liters for a dry fill if you like rebuilt engine. And I'm using Elf Muro for Root Oil here, the 10W40 synthetic based oil. So let's get it put in it. Now that that's done, I'm going to get it started up, make sure everything looks okay, oil leak is out, and let it idle for about two minutes and then we'll check the oil level. Okay, so now the bike is settled for a moment. I'm going to keep the bike as level as I can. Dipstick's clean. Just going to pop it out. Need a little bit more, just touching the bottom of the dipstick. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about the bad light, but they were pretty much at the maximum mark now. So that's it done. Just maybe after a few miles of riding, just double check the oil level again the next morning, just to make sure. So guys, that was a quick little oil change video. We'll show you how to do it and remove the side casing on your Honda Gram. This is particular model was a 2015 MSX125. They're pretty much all the same. Just some of them you have to remove the dipstick when you're taking off the casing, as it can catch on parts in behind there. So just maybe take it out to be sure. The only thing I did forget to do there in the video was down at the front here, I forgot to replace these two little brackets while putting in the casing bolts, but that's all sort of new. So that's the job done. So hope this helps and thanks for watching. See you next time.